k, it's the same information, new problem. So here's h. It's another reminder, uh, on the AP test, you don't have to answer every question to get a 5. So you don't worry about trying to answer every question. Just answer what you can. Make sure you don't let yourself get stuck. So we're going to have to use the quotient rule here. Uh, we always apply the rule before we plug in a value for a variable. So it's the bottom function. Oops, back up. So just f of x multiplied by the derivative of the top. G prime is the derivative of the top. Subtract the top function multiplied by the derivative of the bottom. All divided by the bottom being squared. Okay, uh, if you get that far, they'll give you one point. Now we're supposed to plug in x equal 1. So we write h prime when x is equal to 1 is going to equal f of 1 g prime of 1 minus g of 1 multiplied by f prime of 1 all divided by f of 1 uh, all squared. I'll give you one more point if you have that written on your paper. Uh, you can't stop there because they do expect you to go find the values. So we say h prime of 1 will equal, get back up to the top. So f when x is 1 going to be negative 6. So we'll put that in parentheses. g prime of 1. So g prime when x is 1 is 8. Subtract g when x is 1 is 2, put that in parentheses. I always use parentheses when substituting for variables. f prime of 1, f prime when x is 1 is 3. And that's all divided by f of 1. So let's see, f when x is 1 is negative 6. Did that already. Okay, I would stop right there. Uh, there's no need to go on. Uh, that has everything written down perfectly. They'll give me one more point for that. Total of three points. If you happen to keep going and you ended up with negative 3 halves, they would still give you the point, but if you made a mistake and didn't get negative 3 halves, or I uh, suppose the unreduced version, which was negative 54 over 36, uh, if you didn't get that correct, they would take away this point. So better to stop here.